Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Blurb module. So before we dive into the tutorial here, I just wanted to say if you don't already have Divi, I highly recommend checking it out and picking it up for yourself. And you can actually use a discount link that I have that will give you at least 10% off your purchase. And that is WPWithTom.com slash Divi. And I also just wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos covering all the Divi modules here on my channel. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of them. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this Divi Blurb module tutorial. So in my opinion, the Blurb module is one of the best modules that Divi has. I've been using this module for years and it's nice to be able to create something very quickly and that looks professional. So if we scroll down on this mock website here, you can see that these are actually examples of what a Blurb module will look like. And I think these are nice features that you can put on almost any kind of website. So I'm gonna go through the process of actually designing some other ones. So let's just go right here and add a new area right in here. I'll hit the plus sign and then I'll go and I'll add two more for these blurb module examples here. So right here it says insert module. I'll just click on where it says blurb and it's going to auto populate with this right here. So we have some options. We can change the title, which is right here and the paragraph text below it goes right here. I'm actually going to delete that paragraph text or at least a good portion of it. Maybe I'll just put it to here. So it makes the text only so large right there. And then we have some other options. Once we get out of the text area, we can go down to where it says image and icon. So you don't actually have to make them look like this with this little icon to the left, even though I do think that looks nice. There's actually so many things that you can do with blurbs. I'm just going to go through two quick examples here of how to use one with an image and how to use one with an icon. So let's go right here and I'll click on image and then I'll just go and I'll click on a writing one. So this is for a mock writing website right here. So then you can see it adds the image right in here and you have your title and your text below it. Honestly, you can use that to make some pretty good looking blurbs just by adding an image like this. And then if you want to, you can link it to a specific page. So maybe you're talking about your writing services here. So if we made the title say writing services, and then you could say like order my writing services here, and then they could actually click on this and go to a payment page or a different link, and it can open in a new tab and redirect them to that page. You just need to save it and put it into effect like that. Now, if we go down here, you can change the background. I honestly don't think it looks great when you do this on something like an image or with one of these basic icons here. You might want to change the background when you're doing some more editing, though. So if I were to show you what it looks like, if you just click on this blue one, for example, you can see that it puts this background around this whole area. So that could be something that you want. If you want it to fit with this website a little more, you might want to click on it and drag it and make it look a little bit more orange with the colors of this website and change the text to be white. So I actually don't like how that looks. So I'm going to just go back and move it to transparent or basically revert back right here to the settings that we had in place. So if we went over to design here, we can change some other things here. So image and icon is at the top right here. If you wanted to, you can put it to the left, but it makes it small when you do that. So just be aware of that. You can also go put it back up at the top and realign it to the left. If you wanted to line up with the text over here or keep it centered or go to the alignment on the right side as well. And you can also go and change the rounded corner. So right now it has square corners on each end. If you wanted to, you can go and make it 20 pixels, for example. And since they're all linked, it makes the corners rounded on this image. Now you can also add different border styles, just like you can with other elements here. So let's just say we wanted to have a border all the way around it and I'll make that border two pixels wide and I'll make it red. So you can see that little red border around it or you can just do it on one rather than all of them. So if I were to go and make that zero for this one and let's say I want to add a bottom border and maybe I'll make that border five. That's how you could add a nice little border to the bottom of this image and have your blurb stand out a little bit more. So you can change that and adjust it as needed. I'm just going to revert back and leave it with no border at all in this example but you can also go down here and change the box shadow area. So if you wanted to add a box shadow, you could do that. And right here, I'm just going to change the color so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to make it black and I'll make it larger like that. So you can see that there's this box shadow around the outside 
for the outer shadow here. And then you can also increase it and make it more blurry around it. You can change the position. There's a lot of different options in here in terms of the box shadow as well for this image and icon right here. So for the text, you can go here and change it if you want it to be centered as well. You can also go text title, change the font, just like all of the other elements here. So let's just say you wanted to have a more bolded font. You could go and change that. And you can go and change the size down here to make it larger or smaller and just adjust it as needed. It's the same with the body text. You can also do the same thing. So maybe I want the body text to be a little bit larger. Maybe I'll do like 18 pixels and I'll make it darker as well. And you can just adjust this as needed and make the blurb your own in this case. So there's other options with sizing, spacing, border. Again, the box shadow down here you can use as well. And you can use animation. So let's just say you want it to fade in. You can see that it can fade in like that. You can make the animation take longer. So if you wanted to, you can just adjust this. You can put a delay on it. And you get an idea of it just fading in slowly like that. It's very easy to use and adjust and add some nice looking features here. So if we wanted to make one that looks more like this with an icon, let's go click in the second area. Again, we'll click on blurb. And here I'm going to delete some of this text as well out of here. So it's not so big with the text at the bottom. And here I'm just going to go and go to where it says image and icon. Use icon, yes. And then from here you can actually select your icon. So let's make this bigger and we can see all different options in here. Since this is a writing website, I'm just going to go with this icon right here, this writing icon, and I'll just click on that to make it go into place. So I'm going to go back into editing it. I'm actually going to lock this on the left side so we can see a little bit better, I think. And here we can go down again. You can change the image background. You can change the link. I'll just go over to where it says design, image and icon. And what I'm going to do is change the icon color here. So I'm going to go and make this one white right here. And I know you barely can see it right now, but that's okay. If we put on the circle around the back of it, then you can see the look that I was more going for when you change the color here. And then you can adjust it on the color wheel as needed to fit the site a little bit better. So you can close that. You can go to text, align the text to the center if you'd like. You can change the title text, change the size, all these things that we just went over in this one. And you can easily add this to your site and make a nice little icon. So if you wanted to align left, let's just go up here, icon, change the placement of where it's at. It says image icon placement top. Let's go to the left right here. And now you can see it goes to the left. You might want to adjust the title text and things like this to make it a little bit bigger. And you would probably want to align the text. If we go to design text, align it to the left. And then you'd have something more similar to what we have up here. It just has the orange color in this case that we changed. So it's really easy to make changes with this blur module and you can do so many different designs with it. I'm just scratching the surface in this video and just trying to cover the basics of the blur module. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about how easy it is to make these nice looking little graphics on your site. And if you think about it, you see these all over on the internet where there's all these different little blurbs like this. So it's great to know how to make one with this Divi Blur module in a matter of minutes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.